Should I just be? You just throw it out. Just be a fucking asshole. Boy, I didn't want my pen to fit. I balls out. Like the best looking thing ever in fragrance YouTube. I mean, if you want to be modest, the biggest deal since Wonder Drop Bread. Humble is something that describes the girl. <laughs> it's in the dictionary, in, in, in the cocktionary, in the cocktionary, in the cocktionary. Webster's. Where, where do you come up with this shit? Sadly, my brain comes into it. It's fucking dysfunctional. I needed, I needed a certain fragrance in the air before I entered the building. My security guards are outside in their white beaters because they don't need pistols to just slap you. You know, <laughs> I need it. It's Cubano, also known as Cuba. Oh, ball the Ball Sprayer Squad. The Ball Sprayer Squad. Sure. And we'll get to that. Sure. Okay. I like this guy, but mm -hmm. I wonder what his story is all about. And so I called you up and I said, I sent you a text message. You're busy. It went to my assistant and then she, you know, to the office in Havana, right, 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 right. Yeah. to New York, and then, then so, I got the, the wire Morse code. It's a, it's a process. It's a process, it's a process to get a hold of you. It's very difficult. Out of the emergency room to Centex for right. work, you know, I was with the people. I was a man of the people, you know, or, kissing babies, shaking asses. It, you're doing the typical stuff that you would for. 1978, 79. That's what, and you were living there at that time, right? No, I was more. I was more 82. Really? I had the break before you. Yeah, it's just salt and pepper deliciousness. But then I'm like, his skin is so. He has no nice. wrinkles, and then and, and, and then I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, delicious supplements. That's what we do. But my father, who raised me, was with my mother. He was a, a, a very important guy in the neighborhood. He was a known guy in the neighborhood. Was it mafia known type, yeah. like a mob boss type? Yeah, not, not a not a boss, but just a, a guy. Like a I figure. Know. A figure. Okay. Yeah, not a boss. I'm not gonna say him. Like, yeah, nah. He was a made guy, and he sat there with at the head of the table. No, he was a guy who made moves and was known, and you know, <laughs> you know, he always paid cash. It was like, Dad, can I get five dollars? And he gave me a hundred. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Take this shit back. I'm gonna be like, you stupid. Here, give me a dollar. You know, that kind of guy. Like, oh, why is Dad, you know, at the mailbox at nine in the morning and he's still there at four thirty? You know, like, yeah, it's just, you know, he's not a mob boss, but you know, he, he was important. So then, when did you meet your wife? I met my wife. Uh, Online, I was like the first AOL like, pimp. When AOL came out, like when the whole sound effect when you used to log on and shit, eight set location, I was killing it. So I met my wife in the fucking New York chat room uh, 19 years ago. And she's yeah. beautiful. She is gorgeous. I made it myself. Is that so gorgeous? So you're saying that she's lucky she found you? Absolutely. She's blessed. <laughs> So fortunate. Am I kissing ass? I got we got curly sense here because we just did her. We did Anthony. we didn't just do her. That no. sounds super wrong. Right. You just interviewed her. I just interviewed Don't her. Don't get me on camera <laughs> saying that I did something with curly sense. Her man is here. This is in 1996. Oh I was like cocaine okay, strippers. Nothing was done to or with curly sense. What is it when a fan meets like someone like they've been wanting to meet and they're like, oh my god, I can't believe it. you're a little fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. So, what is your vision for you? For where, where do you see Kuba? Like, what is your wish for yourself and your channel? Just to stay more just subtle, tight, amazing. What is it that you'd want someone to say? So, I'm gonna party a bunch of people to your crew, and they go, "Hey, Kubano," and what would they say about you? An asshole, a hustler, scam artist, dickhead. I mean, they would say a lot of things about me. But, you know, what they really feel in the back of their mind is like, wow, so good looking. It's like, look, 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 at the, look at the sex appeal that's walking across. He's not even walking, he's floating. That's what they really want to say because they're haters. They're just, you know, oh, he's a dirtbag, scammer, fucking. I think you are a handsome man. Yeah, but not, not like me. Yeah, right, no, right, absolutely right, not. Right, not right, right, I mean, you make me look bad. No, I definitely don't. You do that yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm just delicious. I mean, I'm one of the few people that pleasures himself in the mirror. I got a lot of women alone. This is my wife's face, and this is a delicious Cuban woman sitting at a bar smoking a cigar with her glass of wine being masculine, while the feminine woman is in the background dancing in a flamenco dress into like the horizon. So you got a masculine woman who's ballsy, aggressive, smoking her cigar, being a bad bitch, and then you got the feminine woman who's in the back. Sometimes I'm a little bit cheap. Do you have tattoos all over your body or just the arms? All over. 
And then a tattoo on the tip. No, I'm just kidding. I think everyone watching this is like, look at Kuma. Nah, I got it. They're we just like, oh god, I hate this fucking guy. Let's change the channel quickly. And now, now you can change it. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Take care. Sure.